It's the backbone of modern life. It's in the food we eat, the houses we live in, the cars we drive. Oil is one of the most important commodities in the world. But what would happen if all the oil in the world suddenly disappeared? Martial law has been declared to deal with the emergency. Food shipments are being delivered to New York. Hundreds of thousands are on the move. They say the cities are growing too dangerous. What would happen to our cities, our food, our way of life? What would happen to us? Today is that day. The day the world runs out of oil.
nation's biggest solar farm started cranking out power today right here in Central Texas. Austin Energy plans to buy all of the power to continue its commitment to renewable energy sources. The farm is out near Maynard, it's about 20 miles east of Austin, and KXAN's Natalie Stoll has more. With a flip of a switch, the Weberville Solar Project is now on the grid. So I can remember a time when this particular site was being proposed to be used for the landfill not too long ago. But this community banded itself together and said, no, we can come up with a better land use. That use? This is the largest solar project of any public power utility in the United States. The largest installation in Texas and among the largest in the nation. A view from above shows more than 127,000 solar panels stretched over hundreds of acres. Each high-tech panel follows the sun to maximize the amount of power it generates. On average, this field will pump out 30 megawatts of electricity, enough to power 5,000 homes. And it's all part of the city of Austin's long-term renewable energy plan. With our recent solar and wind additions, I'm happy to report that we are on target to meet our 35% renewable energy goal by the year 2020. The project costs about $10 million a year for the next 25 years. And it will add about 60 cents to your bill each month. We're going to go green, but we're going to we're going to be affordable while we do that.